Hey, how's it going, YouTube? So, when we last left off, uh, we did the bumper. And, yeah, that's just real exciting, ain't it? I know, right? So, um, I believe I said I'm going to go ahead and start working on the pillar right here and have it come all the way back here and actually uh, make the rear quarter panel back here. So, that's what we're going to start with. Uh, this right here is actually an interesting shape. I don't know if that actually follows the contour or not. It does a little bit. It's a little flat back there. Uh, so, yeah, we'll have to see if we can manage to get that in there. Shouldn't be a problem. So let's go ahead and get started on this. As what I want to do is I just want to create a plane. Yeah, pretty much everything I do with this one, it's going to start with a plane. I know on my previous videos I've shown... Uh, the polygonal cube seems to be pretty popular with me, but in this case it will not be. So I actually want to take a look at this right here and see what's going on. I'm going to just move this over, frame in on that. Okay, that's what's going on. So I'm just going to move that right about here. I'm going to off-click on those. I'm going to line that up right about there. Let me go back into the side view here. Oh yeah, that's perfect not. Okay, so I'm just going to move that down right about there. Uh, now this is selected right here on this corner. So what I'm going to need to do, besides move that one, so what I'm going to need to do is I'm actually going to need to match this one up with that down there. So this is going to be right about here. Uh, let's go ahead and go into Edge, and I'm going to uh, extrude this. So we're just going to extrude this like so, and uh, we want to try and keep this contour the same. I mean we're going to, we just want to try to. Big difference there. So I'm just going to keep following this. And I'm not really worried about the top. I'm actually more concerned about the bottom, making sure that it stays the same. And the reason why, because we will be manipulating the top vertices, just so they actually um, follow what we're looking for. I'm actually going to set this one right here. I'm going to move this one back just a little bit more, then I'm going to continue on. So yeah, I'm just going to keep moving this all the way down. Uh, eventually we're going to get there. Okay, so I think I'm going to stop that one right about there. I'm going to start moving these vertices in place. So I'm just going to move that one right about there. Eh. Right about there. Yeah, if you're new to my channel, um, if this is your first time viewing this channel, I'm having to rub my eye, that's why I stopped moving. Uh, I do different posts on here. It's either me playing a video game or it's me doing one of these tutorials. I, myself, am a gamer. I just haven't had much time to play any games because I've been working on my own video game and these tutorials. Uh, some of y'all might be wondering, well, if you're working on the video game, then what's the purpose of these tutorials? These tutorials are actually going to help me fund my video game. I am a programmer. I'm a 3D artist. Um though my art skills are a little bit lacking in the actual game art department. Uh, I do understand a lot of the concepts, though, and a lot of those concepts and principles I do apply to a lot of the stuff I do. However, I'm not a UV texture artist. Uh, some of my previous videos, I'm sure y'all will be like, yeah, no shit, you're not. But um, point being is uh, even though I have the full capability of producing a video game, and I have produced a video game, um, it's not up to par with what I want. And when I say that, is what I mean is that uh, I lack the necessary skills for uh, programming, uh, UV texture mapping, as well as uh, a few other things. Um, I suck at making music. I have the capability of doing it. I'm just not very good at it. So that's pretty much why I have these channels up here. And plus, also... Uh, for those out there who want to learn how to make a video game, but, you know, kind of difficult for them to, uh, I think these videos are really good for them to watch, you know, for whoever that might be, and just kind of get a good uh, concept or principle, also some good um, valuable lessons, I don't know, something. Anyways, uh, so yeah, in this, back to this video, uh, basically right now is what I'm doing is I didn't like where some of those points met up, so I'm just trying to, like, you know, match these in here. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to take this tool. I actually want to... Well, I think the first thing is what I want to do is I actually just want to create a curve or an edge right here in the middle. 
Next thing I want to do is actually start creating this right here. I'm just going to create where it comes down to about here and uh, splits off. So the purpose of this is this where I can come in here and I can add some more edge loops like so. I'm going to vertex. I can just start moving all these in position. That's really the only purpose to be doing that. Yay. <sighs> So yeah, other than that, um, that's my life story. It's just awesome, right? I know, you don't care. But that's okay. You don't have to care. You just have to learn. You have to learn for your very life and soul depend on it. For if you do not learn, they will not know what took place here. They will not know of the epic battle. They will not know of the hermaphrodites that chased you down the street at midnight wanting to eat your flesh and soul. Yeah, so anyways, um, so yeah, that's uh, the pillar. See, these should already be matched up, if I remember correctly. Yeah, those are already matched up. Now, the purpose, uh, normally I wouldn't add one right here in the middle. However, the only reason why I did that is because, oh, you bastards. So I'm just going to select all of that. Oh, you bastards. Move this right about here because I actually need to move this out just a little bit. Oh, you bastards. I'm going to keep saying that. I promise you I will keep saying that. And I will feel nothing by doing so. There we go. Okay. So, anyways, uh, as I was saying before, I'm going to just go back here. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. I'm just going to select all these. Go back into insert. Uh, so, yeah. Basically right now, uh, is what I just now noticed is this um, pillar does not line up as close as I want it to. And granted, it doesn't have to line up super close. It still has to be pretty accurate. You don't want to go overboard with it, but at the same time, you don't want to just half-ass it either. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, that's the pillar. Uh, beautiful, isn't it? Actually, that curved over pretty well. Uh, for this one, I'm going to deselect this one. I'm just going to pull this up just a little bit. I'm going to pull it out. Just like that. So now it has a little bit of roundness to it. That easy. So then is what I want to do is uh, something. Yeah, I'm like, getting extremely tired, so naturally I'm going to be a little off. Uh, so one thing I do want to do um, on the rear view... I'm going to go ahead, uh, ye bastard, there we go. On the rear view, uh, I want to move this way further than that, there we go. So this way, when I come in here, I can actually start moving all of these edges over. So I'm actually just going to select all of these vertices, like this. I'm just going to go, there we go, beautiful, perfect, not, come on, wrong one. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is uh, I want the front view active. And I actually want to start moving this. Uh, let's see, so that's right about there. So that needs to be moved right about here, I'm thinking. And I, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on these right here. That's why I can just select them as I go. Move that right about here. I'm not trying to be super precise with it or anything. I'm just trying to get close. That's really it. So that's pretty much all I'm doing right now. And I'm just going to move this one right about here. Then I'm going to pull up the rear image. And now is what I want to do. Now that I'm not so uh, restricted. So what I want to do. How do I want to do this? I do not know. You'd think I would know, but I don't. This is like common art problems. It's like, how do you want to do this painting? Uh, very carefully. That's how I want to do it. Alright, so these, uh, I'm just going to move over here right like this for now. I'm just going to shift select all of these, and these can go away. Beautiful. Okay, so right here, uh, I'm going to start moving all these into position. Move that one, probably, yeah, I think right there should be fine. And just start moving these according to how I see them in this view. That's pretty much all it is. What is going on with this one? Oh, that's a second vertice. 
gonna have to fix that in the other view though, because I can already tell you now that's not gonna work. Like I can just look at it and be like, yeah, that's ass. It's just total ass. Like, sometimes ass is good. I can get down with some ass, but I mean, when it's just total ass, yeah, probably ain't gonna happen. I'm just gonna spit that out there. So these are gonna be the back part of the car. Uh, so I'm actually going to. Uh, I'm just gonna form that right there. Do the same thing with this one. We're just gonna come out just a little bit more. And these should be, yeah, those are up here with the door. So they just need to line up, you know, something kind of like this. And we are going to have to come back in here and manipulate those a lot more. I promise you we will. It's just total ass. So, yeah, how are you all doing, YouTube? I'm doing great. Sleep deprived Jimmy. Yay. All right, move that in there, move that in here, and it can go screw itself. There we go. Perfect. Beautiful. Beautimous. Um, so now, I hate it when the mouse does this. Or not the mouse, but the camera. I'm just going to frame it on these. There we go. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. You can't see any dents, dingles, all that has smooth continuity. Not. Okay, so um, that's what I want to do. This is actually the kind of difficult part because now we have to uh, start actually trying to figure out how these are going to form to the vehicle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here. I'm just going to start working my way back. I'm just going to try and keep this as smooth as I can. And we'll see how it comes out. Come on. So this one's going to connect up here and then we'll have these right back here. And this is going to be the same thing but I'm going to move this one right about here. I'm just going to start moving these where they have some uh, smoothness to them. Something like that, I'm thinking. Okay, and now we have this one. I'm actually going to select these two, because I know these two right here need to be about in the middle. So something like that, and then something like that. And that should be fine. Then I'm going to do the same thing with these two. And uh, that one actually doesn't look too bad. But this one, on the other hand, that one can just go to hell. So uh, then we'll select these two. We're going to do the same thing. Uh, once again, that one doesn't look half bad. This one will move right about here. And then this one will move right about, I'm thinking right about here. Now I know we have this one right here, but that's because this is the triangle that we created to be able to create this extra edge in here. So let's see what we have so far. This one sticks out a little too far. I think something like that. Uh, I don't know what the hell's going on with the trunk here, but I'm pretty sure those are flat. Those are not flat. Does it really come that far down on the tail light? No, it should be touching the tail light. Okay, so I'm gonna have to keep that in mind. I will definitely have to keep that in mind. And I just burped and it tastes like cereal. Uh, probably has something to do with the fact I just ate cereal. Could be wrong. I could legitimately be wrong. Now these right here, I'm not too worried about. Uh, I'm just honestly not. I'm actually more worried about these other vertices. Uh, I want to make sure that they line up with where they're supposed to be. Now, what is going on with my mouse? It's like jumping around now. That's what you get for buying a $40 mouse. You think you're getting something great, and then it turns out to be like naked grandmas. You know? Yeah, they're pleasant to be around, but I mean, when you see one, uh, yeah, you already know where this is going. Uh, if y'all are wondering, yes, I do talk like this quite frequently. Uh, I am just one messed up individual. I think that's what makes me so fun to be around. In fact, my coworkers have always uh, kept trying to get me drunk because they want to see how I act. And I told them I act like a complete moron. They just don't believe me. I will need to make them believe. And it also doesn't help the fact that I'm only up. What the hell? Uh, yeah. Let me go into the side view. What the hell is going on? How does that even happen? Does this even have its vertice? It does have a vertice. But, I mean, why? Seriously. I, I honestly have no idea how that even came to be. Like, I didn't even know that could be a thing in Maya. I'm just going to create an extra vertice for you. <laughs> uh, 
it's like, uh, I don't know. This is, um, I'm not going to say it's awkward, but, you know, I mean, it is kind of awkward. Okay, so I'm just going to move that one in. See, this is the hard part, because now you have to try and line all these up and try to get rid of all this crinkling. In fact, I'm going to just click on three. I'm going to go here to object mode. Let's see what we have. Actually, that really doesn't look half bad. I mean, it, it really doesn't. That has a nice uh, curve to it. So, I mean, dudes, I think I'm going to roll with it. Yes, I just seriously called y'all dudes. Okay. So, I wonder how many people have, like, watched my video or my channel or whatever, watched videos on my channel, and have either been like, A, this guy is a complete asshole to hell with him, or B, hey, this guy's actually pretty funny. I'm going to keep watching this shit because uh, he's making me laugh. I don't care if he's an idiot or not. You know, I'm just kind of curious about that. You know, things that you have to wonder and ask yourself. Uh, these are important questions of life, people. Like, you have no idea. Or maybe you do have an idea, and I don't have an idea. I am just a clueless idiot, so, I mean... So, yeah, other than that, um... Welcome to the channel. And you get to watch a clueless idiot attempt to model a Honda Civic. How exciting is that? Alright, there we go. So, uh, I'm just going to bring this down again. And this is actually going to be the last time I bring this down like this. And the reason why, because now we're getting into this section where the wheel is, but not only that, but we're also getting down into this section. Uh, so that's the only reason why I'm going to be bringing it down. Oh, actually, I need to bring that down too. No, wait, because that's part of the... Okay, so... To hell with you! Y'all... Yeah. All right, is what I want to do. I don't want to create another edge loop. That would be bad. But is what I will do is I'll go ahead and take this cut tool and I cut right in here. There we go. That's a little cut right there. There we go. It is now goth. It's been cutting itself. Okay. Couldn't resist. Sorry about that, people. All right, so we're just going to move that right there. We're going to move this one right here. Um, you know, probably wouldn't be a bad idea if we just went up in here and create a few more, and I probably could just click right there in the middle to begin with, but you know what, to hell with it. I'm tired. You're tired. Everybody's tired. We're tired of being tired. We ain't gonna take this crap no more. We demand more sleep, faster internet, bigger boobs. Alright, so I'm just gonna move that right there. Move that one right there. I'm gonna move this one right meh. Right meh. Okay, there we go. I've got to be one of the weirdest teachers y'all have ever watched. Oddly enough, people say I'd make a pretty good teacher. I don't think I would. I'd be like, hey, have you heard this girl play the drums? Oh, yeah, I've heard her play the drums several times. Yeah, I know, man, you should hear the beat she's making my basement door. Wait, what? Huh? What? Yeah, I don't know. I I probably felt epically at that. All right, so uh, that actually doesn't look half bad. You know, one of these days, I'm going to make one of these videos, and it's going to, like, alert the FBI, and they're just going to come knocking on my door, and they're going to be like, are you Jimmy Walker? And I'm like, yeah, what's up, dude? Uh, you want an autograph? I mean, it's just like, it's not going to be good for me. It's really not. Okay, there we go. So, I'm going to just uh, click on this whole edge. And I got the whole edge selected. And I'm just going to extrude it. And now I probably want to use the blue handle. Move that in just a little bit. Press G. There we go. So now we should have this nice uniform shape. And we do. I don't know what the hell that is, but it's there. Actually, I kind of like that. I know it's not part of the car, but I kind of like it. It's kind of like making love to a machine. You know it's not something you should be doing, but, you know, it's it's kind of neat. It is kind of neat. Okay, so I want the rear view on. i got to sneeze. It's a-coming. <laughs> 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 
Oh, that was a sneeze. It actually opened up my eardrums. And now I don't hear what kind of a loser I am. So that's a plus. That is a plus, my friends. I wonder how many of you were just now like, don't call me your friend. Alright, so... I'm going to move that right here. Alright, so what I want to do... The first thing I want to do is I want to figure out what the hell's going on back here on this quarter panel. I'm like, this is just not right. Now, I honestly have no idea what the hell's going on around here. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh-huh. Yeah. That right there. Okay, I have no fucking clue. I'm just gonna start selecting these faces. Uh, let me go look at an image of this real quick. Okay, so this doesn't actually, um... Yeah, see, that doesn't actually have its own little extrusion like the front does. It's just flat. No, I guess it has a slight extrusion. You can kind of see it in that image, so, okay. That's good. So what I will do is this. No, I will not. That would be a bad idea. Let me just press G, I mean, Control Z on that real quick. I'm just going to move this out just a little bit. And I'm going to scale it in. See how well this works. There we go. Awesome. Ah, Diet Cola. If you're wrong, I, I say Diet Cola as often as I do, because each time I either open a can or finish a can of Diet Cola, I will say Diet Cola. I don't think I do it. I don't think I really do it around my wife. Probably need to start. Just like Ramley finish a can, be, just whisper her in her ear, Diet Cola. And look at me and go, what? And I'll just be like, what? Alright, so I know I'm talking a lot and I'm not like really explaining what I'm doing on the tutorial, so I'm gonna actually start explaining what I'm doing on the tutorial. I'm making these edges match. That's what I'm doing on the tutorial. I'm making these edges match. If they do not match, then I make them match. If they are not flat, I make a line, I follow the line, give it even continuity. This way, whenever I smooth it, it looks beautiful. That's what I'm doing. Like that. And that looks beautiful. Almost want to make sweet, soothing love to it, because of how beautiful it looks. That, my friends, is what I am doing. Once again, I'm sure some of y'all were just like, don't come with your friend. We're not friends. Okay, and I'm just going to extrude this one down, so this way when I press 3, we get that shape. Nice and flat the way it should be. Alright, so, <clears throat> is what I want to do is I'm going to create this uh, rocker panel down here. Let me look at a view real quick. Ooh, did I really screw that up? Did I really screw that up? Okay, I kind of screwed that up. I think. I don't know, she won't show me her ass, so, I mean, it's kind of hard, to, yeah, see, this whole rocker panel looks like it's part of the rear quarter panel. I can't really tell, though. Yeah, I cannot tell at all, it's like, I can't find a good image of her ass. If I could find a good image of her ass, I'd have, oh, that's not the right year. Well, no, that's a 2008. It's a little far from here, but, you know. Eh, that looks like the right year. And it's the right body, too. Yeah, see, you just can't see... See, it's shit like this. And it's shit like this. Like, seriously, 400 by 200? What are you going to look at? A pixel? Come on, people. I'm like... It's... 2018. In another four months, it'll be 2019. Why are you posting such low-resolution pic pictures? We live in a high-def era. <sighs> you know what I say? I say to hell with it. I'm going to create this as one solid piece down here, and if the people on Google don't like it, 
Or I say Google. Uh, whoever posted those pictures on Google doesn't like it, and they can kiss my... They can just kiss my black ass. But, Jimmy, I thought you were white. I am white. That's what makes it so epic if they were to kiss my black ass. Just the fact that I even have a black ass to be kissed. I think that would be a very magical touch. You know, everybody would be like, Whoa, how'd you do that? How'd I do what? You turned her ass from black, from, from white to black. I'm like, magic, baby. Okay, so anyways, enough of that ass-kissing stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm creating another solid plane. I say solid plane, it's just a two-dimensional, or it's just a two-dimensional polygonal object in 3D space. And we're basically going to be doing the same thing we've been doing, and we're just going to be extruding the edge and just continuing on like we do in life, and wishing something might change that would change that will not change, because life does not change. Only you, indeed, change. And I'm losing y'all again. Okay. Yeah, this is like one of the only downsides about watching me do one of these tutorials. Especially when I'm sleep deprived like I am right now. I just start rambling. Like, I'm, I, I am the rambling idiot. I don't know if there is such a thing as a rambling idiot, but if there was, it would be me. Like, I can almost guarantee you that. Yeah, I'm going to do that one right here. And uh, the reason why I did three of them, because I plan on there being three lines for the door. Uh, that's the only reason why I did three of those. Uh, each one of these segments right here, just like we did up here for the hood, the bumper and all that, we'll have to try and match them up. Uh, if we're able to do so, it's going to be a lot easier, I promise. Right here, this uh, vertice will be the side for this one, and the vertice over here underneath this green arrow will be the vertice for this side. So, uh, this one's actually going to have four. That'll be one, two, three, and this one's going to be four. So, uh, the front door will have four. The back one's only going to have three. And the reason why, because uh, there's going to be one right here, one right here, and then this one right here will actually kind of like curve up around here. More than likely. I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure that's the way I'm going to end up doing it in the long run. So that's what I want to do now, is just take this and move it down. I'm going to try and match this uh, edge right here. <clears throat> ah, Jimmy Walker, the rambling idiot. I kind of like the tone of that. I'm not tone, but you know, I, 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 I like the ring to it. Uh, I think it's kind of kind of cool sounding. No, I don't. I have many things. A rambling idiot, I am not. Uh, right now, in the tutorial, I am just moving these uh, vertices. Uh, as you can see, they're very pretty vertices that are being moved in 3D space. Up and down. And around town. Okay, there we go. So, once I've moved all these vertices into place, or thereabouts, normally I would line it up with the image. This, however, is not the case. No, the case is actually in this case. Oh, shit. I don't know how I missed that, but I did. Jimmy Walker, the rambling idiot. Alright, so I'm just going to move these right about here. You know, I actually need to line these up just a little bit better. I'm going to need to pay more attention next time, so I just call myself a rambling idiot, though. I think, in all fairness, I have earned that title today. I really do. I don't know. What y'all think? Comment below, rambling idiot. If you comment that below, that's what I'll start my next video out as. Uh, whenever I see the, you know, that y'all think I am the rambling idiot, I'm like, hey, it's Jimmy Walker here, the rambling idiot. So yeah, let me know. I don't mind starting off a video like that for once. Be different at least. And my dog just farted. That was awesome. Like legitimately, the dog just farted. Kind of sound like a mouse trying to gasp for air. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. You're the one who farted. Dumbass. Yeah, I'm so nice to my dogs. Okay, so uh, we have a little bit of an issue here. Uh, slight issue. But that is okay. We can fix this. We can fix this. I want to do. I'm going to come here. 
I need to figure out what's going on here in this shape. I mean, that is an odd shape. A really weird shape. What vertice is this? <clears throat> okay, this is the back vertice. We can come here. Yeah, so that's what's going on. Uh, yeah, that's what's going on. Okay, so this actually needs to... Mm. Okay, this is one of those times that you just kind of look at it and you go, what in the actual fuck is going on? So I'm going to say it. What in the actual fuck is going on? This. This is what's going on. Right here. Yeah, and, you know, sometimes you run into these issues. You misplace vertices. Kind of like misplacing your car keys, really. Uh, you're just kind of like, where the hell did they go? And then you find them later on, and you're like, oh, there they are. And life is all good again. Well, that's kind of the same principles here. The only downside is, when you find these car keys, then you realize everything else is screwed up. Look at that beautiful bendage. Yeah, that is a word, bendage. It's where something bends that should not bend. Binge? Bend. Bend. It's where something bends that should not bend. You know. Vertices, car keys, 80-year-old men. I'm like, things like that just do not bend. They really don't. So now we have this deformed shape back here, because uh, my ignorant blind ass totally missed it. I don't know how, but I did. So what we got to do now is we got to start seeing if we can manipulate this into 3D space. And it is not going to be easy, because my ass missed it. <sighs> How many of y'all watch my videos just because y'all enjoy a good laugh and watching me screw up? You know, just comment that down there, too, if you would. I'm curious about these numbers. I might just start posting these, you know, more as, like, comical tutorial things where... The rambling idiot goes on this binge about bending over 80-year-old men and explain how they should not bend, but he does it anyways. I mean, that seems seems like that'd be pretty popular. Who wouldn't want to bend an 80-year-old guy over? Well, that just sounds all kinds of wrong. I want to try it now. All right, so uh, we have some deformity right here. No idea why. Let's see if I can just pull this out. No, I cannot. So, what is going on? Yeah, right there. That is what be going on. Beyonce is what be going on. Is she still a thing? I, I don't know if she's still a thing or not. Oh, wow. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I'm going to have to split that real quick. There we go. But, yeah, I don't know much about pop culture, unfortunately. Uh, one of the, I guess that's one of the downsides of autism, I don't know. I, I generally try not to watch movies too much, or listen to music I don't like, because, uh, yeah, a lot of times I don't get it. Like, The Matrix I had to watch multiple times just so I could understand the concept of what was going on, because my brain would not wrap around the concept of people being used as batteries. Uh, so, yeah, I might get Kind of makes sense. Do I think we're living in a matrix? Yes. No. Yeah, maybe. Maybe like a small matrix. Like, you know, a little mini matrix. It's kind of miniature golf, but, you know, less harmful to our health. Like, we don't really die, we just... I don't know. Okay, so anyways, I'm going to extrude this now. And instead of just pulling back on the blue thing right here, the blue handle, I'm actually just going to pull it straight to the middle. And once I move a little bit, guess what? Now we go all the way. Yeah, it sounds like a porn video. Going all the way. Yeah, let's take a look at how craptacular this looks. Yeah, it looks pretty craptacular. Let's make it look a little less craptacular by adding an edge loop. And we're going to add one right up here. Awesome. Beautimus. Okay, so now we need to lower the craptacularness a little bit lower. And add another edge loop right here. Beatimus. Okay. So now the craptacular does not look like it is so much craptacular. It actually looks decent. Yay. Alright, so the next thing I want to do, uh, I was thinking about grabbing these edges, but now I'm just kind of like, eh, I don't know if I want to do that or not. I kind of do, but then I don't. Uh, we do need to create uh, the rear inner fender for this thing, but 
Probably do that a little later on. That's what we do need to do. I just now noticed this craptacular right here. I'll tell you, that is very craptacular. So we're just going to add an edge loop right here. There we go. Let's go ahead and just admire it for a second. Let me press 3 on this. Ah. Ah. Jimmy the Rambling Idiot's missing all kinds of shit. And normally I don't cuss this much. Um, in my defense, I'm the Rambling Idiot. Plus, I'm only operating off of like... Let's see. I woke up at... Yeah, when did I wake up? I think I woke up... Oh, come on, you bastard. I don't remember when I woke up. I want to say I woke up at 8. When I say 8, I don't mean 8 a.m. I mean like 8 p.m. yesterday. And I have been up since because I had to work last night. So, um, yeah, that's actually looks pretty good. This is a little wanky, but the rest of it actually looks pretty good. I don't know, I kind of want to keep that kind of... Maybe I could go for like a wide body... Or do I really want to fix that? I, I don't know. I, th you know, I think, I think I'm gonna go ahead and fix it. I'm like really tempted just to keep it like that and do like this wide body effect. But then the more and more I look at it, it's kind of like, I'm gonna do a wide body. We can always do that. that in just a little bit right there. Pull that back out. There we go. Pull that out just a little bit. what that sound was. That was me making a weird sound. I make weird sounds. The hell did my dog eat? Okay, so anyways, um, that is done. Let's see, I'm thinking on the next video, we'll probably do the door right here. The door is actually going to be tr kind of uh, tricky, because just the general shape of it's kind of weird. Like it goes forward, and then you have this triangular window, but then the door actually comes up right here behind the mirror. So that's going to be a little weird, but we'll be able to manage around it. Um, I think that's pretty much going to be it for this video for the time being. Uh, like I said, we'll probably start working on the doors next, and then we'll work on the roof, the trunk, taillights, wheels. We'll do all that fun stuff. I'm going to save it. If you like this video, hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, I try to do these videos at least once a day, at the very least. So I should have uh, one upload per day. And if I don't, I usually upload a bunch of videos the next day or next following couple of days. So either way, it comes out to like one video a day. Uh, so if you like it, hit the like button. If you disliked it, hit the dislike button. Comment how much you hate my guts and how much you like to see me burn, die, get stabbed alive, buried in death, and uh, I see my soul just completely ravaged and everything. So, um, yeah, I hope you all have a good day, and I shall see you all next time.